many times are you gonna clap? Well, Sorry. We only need one person to clap. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the second episode of Anything Goes with Joe and Carla. Yeah, and we talk about almost anything. All right. So let's go to our first segment, sweetheart. Mm. Our what are you into right now? Um, so what are you into? Why don't you start? Because I'm going Okay. I'm into wax melts. Okay, I'm not sure if it's already a thing in the Philippines. I've heard you say wax melts so many times the past few days. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a fact. I didn't know that that's a noun. Like, I, you get, you and your nieces would say wax melts. And I'm like, I know. Okay, so wax melts is... So basically, I'm into scented candles. Okay, okay. I'm, even I'm, before our topic even today. Even before our topic today. Okay. Yeah, it just so happened that our topic today has something to do with scented candles. So there's another clue for you. Yeah. So any more clue natin from the last time? Major episode? rethink your skincare. Yeah. Help Philip practice his reading. Uh-huh. And has something to do with scented candles. Uh-huh. And uh, if, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment below. Uh, if you're guessing Yeah, if you're guessing now, what it is. Uh -oh. Like... What are we into and what are... Uh, no, sorry. What are we going to talk about today? Now, going back to what we are into. So, wax melts is just another way of having scented candles. Um, I've been into it way before. Pa. I, know, I know. Even in the yes, house. Yes. And, and, and I, uh, there I'm were... a big Bath and Body fan. What was that trip that I almost went overweight? With all the scented candles yeah. you asked me to I buy. I always reserve my luggage weight or space for scented candles and, and books. books. Yeah. So, yun talaga yung mga heavyweight stuff that we would bring home from Anywhere. all over the world. Yeah. yeah. So, I've been into that. But this is the first time on this trip that I'm hearing about wax melts. And it's just because of my relatives from the States who do it. Who have wax melts instead of. Or hindi naman instead of. But... Aside from their scented candles, they would have wax melts. And what is that? What it is, is oh yeah. It is this. Okay, for those who are watching on video, it looks like this. For those on so audio, basically, it looks like cubes. Yeah, like, like ice cubes, cubes like a, in an ice cube tray. Yeah, that not, smell not good. all wax melts look that way, but there are wax cubes. But wax melts in general are like paraffin wax that you use for candles. Right, so it's the Pero, wax without the wick. Yeah, it's it's just a candle without the wick, but they turn it into like cubes or okay. sometimes like a, like a rectangular thing lang that you break break up. Okay. And then you put into a burner, and the burner looks like this for those on video. So the it burner for is... those on audio looks like a bird's nest. <laughs> with, no, they have different. I mean, kinds. a bird cage. Okay, but but, but sad, there's. There are different kinds. Alam mo yung parang the the the, the dish for um scented oils for for oils yeah, and, there's a, and there's also a for, little candle underneath. Yep, and even for keeping your food warm. So yes. hold on. Yes, Philip. I thought you said burger. Yes. No, we didn't say burger. I said burner. Yeah. Okay. So parang ganun yung itsura niya, and then anything you anything goes talaga. Yeah, anything si goes. Yeah. So you break up a, a piece of that. Um, of this thing. Of this thing. This of ice wax. cube looking thing. You put a cube in the burner. How much do you put in? And then, mine's elect. Yeah. No, no, no. Sorry. I think all wax burners are electric. Ne. So you just plug it into the wall. I mean, like the, the socket. Yung cord niya. And then it's gonna heat up. And it's gonna melt the wax melt. And then it's the going to scent. diffuse whatever scent you got. And I got... I love yung mga ganito, pumpkin apple strudel. So those that smell like you're baking something. I love that you love that. I mean, so, even before you got into baking, our house smelled like a bakery so many right. times so, because of that. So, yun. Um, that's what I'm into. Why is that preferred to candles? Like, why did people need to do this instead I of having really candles? I really don't know. I would say that it... I am not sure about this yet. Pero mukha siyang mas economical. Talaga, than, baka. Because the candles are very expensive. Okay. Pero ito kasi, it's like $2 and you've got 6 cubes. Or it can even go lower. Wow. But I'm not sure kasi of how, how long, long it lasts. lasts. So yeah, I still drinks. have to see over time um, if it really is cheaper to go the wax melt route. Yeah, yeah. And I guess one other benefit is you can turn it on and go to bed. You know, because like a candle, if you left right. it on, it would burn the whole night. Yep, yep, And then we've yep. had that experience where we're just gagging with the scent. Mm -hmm. So this thing, 
you break off whatever amount is it's appropriate piece, for yeah. you. Is there any danger of leaving it on the whole night? I'm not sure. I haven't researched that far. It's just that. Parang ginawa so... natin yun isang gabi, tas wala namang... Ma- malakas yung amoy, yeah. pero baka del maraming ginamit mo. I just find mo. it fascinating kasi uh, the other thing that I'm looking into is that you can change scent quickly and not... Kasi minsan nahihinayang ako that you're opening like different candles just because you like or different occasions. Different, yeah. um, different scents, right? So, so this is the melted paraffin na. Yeah. How do we get this out? They say that you have to like wet a cotton. I, I'm not sure if it's wet with a warm water. But um, definitely there's a way. There's a way of getting it out. But I wouldn't. I mean, like I'd wait for it. You to, just reuse like, it. Yeah. Would it disappear eventually? I am not sure. I've, I haven't gone that far. I mean, this is the first time I'm using wax belts. And I'm not sure, again, if it's available in the Philippines. It's very interesting, though. I, I, I think a lot of people back home would want to have one. So wax melts are a thing. It wasn't a statement. It wasn't a, a scientific <laughs> yeah. observation. Yes. Okay, great. What's um, yours? The thing I'm into is something I've shared with you before. And I'm so grateful I get to share online. Uh, Ryan George and Pitch Meetings. Mm-hmm. So this is a YouTube show uh, that's available on the YouTube channel called Screen Rant. And people often say that he is the only one saving Screen Rant. Because Screen Rant's views are down, but Pitch Meetings are always up. And and what it is, it's, it's the simplest concept. Uh, uh, he takes a video of himself. And we're going to put the link in the show description. And I wish more people would get into it. Yeah. Yeah, so he takes a video of himself talking to himself. Yeah, yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. So he's, I've seen this. He's a screenwriter pitching to a producer. Grabby, you have to be so intelligent to do this. Huh? He's like, so extremely smart. Extremely smart. Yeah, and that's what I love about him because it's smart, but he doesn't take himself too seriously. It's just, it's brilliant. And then what, You know, I always say this about, because it's, okay, it's comedy. Yep. It, it makes you laugh, but yep. really it's also sarcasm. A yes, lot of sarcasm. Yes. And for me... Anyone who's who's able to get away with sarcasm is actually an extremely intelligent person. Because and the end, observation of the not so obvious also. Eh? Sure, Philip. Do you like, like pitch meeting? I do. Yeah, you like Ryan George, isn't he funny? Yeah. Okay. So. <coughs> I also. <coughs> okay. I'm no, also, no COVID in this house. I'm also introduced. What I really like is Legos, cause. It makes you build stuff. Mm-hmm. He's interested in that. Yep. <laughs> hey, you, why don't you join? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, let, let me finish mine and we'll go to yours, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So, pitch meeting is about a, a screenwriter pitching to a producer. And it's similar to Honest Trailers in that all of the flaws of the movies become, they pitch it as a feature. Deba? So, so how will that bad guy die? <laughs> oh, right. How will that bad guy die? I don't think about those things. I'm just too lazy. So, mm-hmm. they call out lazy writing. They call out um, mm-hmm. inconsistency. They call out a lack of continuity. They call out um, even obvious money grabs on the part of studios. And it's just done in such a hilarious way. So, if you like honest trailers, you're going to like Pitch Meeting. The even better thing is Pitch Meeting. I actually like Pitch Meeting better. Pitch Meeting comes out sooner than Honest Trailers. Ooh. Honest Trailers, you have to wait. Um, Why is that? Well, because they use actual clips of the movie. So they wait till it's out on ah, DVD or on streaming. That's okay, my I guess. See, okay. But uh, Pitch Meeting doesn't. They don't use clips. They just use mm-hmm. himself talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> so he can watch the movie and then the next day, and I've been surprised, like, mm. I've seen release dates, and then two days later, there's a pitch meeting, or three days later. Okay, so this thinking, is a combo of, um... I don't know how many times you watched it in one day. intelligence. Super intelligent. Super Uh-oh. intelligent. Because, I mean, like, it's, it's easy to churn out stuff quickly if they're, like, not well made and not well thought out. Yeah, yeah. But this one's, like, intelligent, and then yeah. it's so quick, pa. Yeah. So, is he, like, a big thing, talaga? You know what? He's not... Super big on Twitter, Twitter now. He personally has thirty two thousand followers. Oh, I'm bigger than him. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <just> but he's <laughs> he's just amazing. So he's got that pitch meeting on Screen Rant, and then you go to Ryan George channel. It's other similar concepts. So um, it's 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 hilarious. Like the first guy to ever open a restaurant, mm. and he's talking to himself, mm-hmm. and he'll like take it to ludicrous levels. Right. And then on his Twitter, he 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 makes fun of things. So. Uh, for those of you who saw the video of the celebrity singing Imagine, mm-hmm. 
that got bashed on Twitter um, for also on that. being tone yeah. deaf. Yeah, yeah, he had a great uh, commentary on that, but it's, it's just hilarious. So, the Ryan George on Twitter, or look for pitch meeting on YouTube. My treat, and this is why I was looking for looking up that video. I couldn't show it to you now. Um, when Pastor Seth Trimmer was in Manila, and I was interviewing him for one of our videos. He dropped the line that Ryan George always says, Which super is? easy, barely an inconvenience. Yes. And when he said that, I was like, no, that's got to be a coincidence. There's no way he just did that on purpose. And then later on, he we, were, it. we were having dinner and then he dropped the line again. I said, do you know pitch meeting? And he goes, yeah, I do. So then we got text. We have a new episode. We text him. We text Jaffo. So there. I'd love for more people to be into this. Pitch meeting and Ryan George. Okay. We move on to the real topic of the day. Topic of the day. Let's look at our clues. Number one, skincare. Number two, helps Philip read. Number three, has something to do with scented candles. Our topic for the day is Chloe. Crash landing on you. Free and hard for you guys. Okay, first impressions. Um, When we were getting into this, or when people were telling us about this, what were you thinking? Uh, I just thought another K-drama. We've had a lot of friends who have been watching K drama for quite some time now, and um, wala hindi namin hindi namin alam yon, hindi namin yeah. pinapanood yon, hindi namin pinapansin. So it was like a niche, di ba? Yeah. They're like a, a small group of and people. And even K-pop, like none yeah. of that was in our uh, interest. Aww. So what convinced you to start watching Crash Landing on You? Well, everyone was talking about it. Wait, b- before that, can I say? She does not like watching what? TV. She doesn't like watching TV series. Yep. She doesn't like watching movies. Like I'm, I'm the super fan of those things. Bihida lang siyang mahilig sa isang series talaga. I'm Kaya, not the ideal fan talaga because I, I, can't, I hardly get fanatic about anything. I'm so. It's very rare. Pop that culture, that anything pop, pop culture pop, specifically. Uh, you know, even with a non pop some, culture. Some dead literary I like theorist, variety. you'll you'll become a. F- I mean, like I'll, I'll I'll rave about it for a while, just like how I foresee this happening. I'll rave about this for a while, but I wouldn't be a forever K drama fan. I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this would die down eventually for me. But for some people, because it's like an interest for their entire lives. Well, there's some things because that, that are that good. So like the office. Um, yeah, like you used to watch the office, and until I was now, until now into it. I think I was pregnant with Philip, mm-hmm. the firstborn. Um, I was into the office, but after that, parang okay. I mean, like it's a good show, but not something I would repeat over and over. I know you can't understand that, no. but um, this is where you draw the line. You are, you can be a fanatic, and I'm just not like that. Right. So, what convinced you, the total anti-fanatic, to watch this thing? And honestly, right now, this is one of the most fan, mm. fanny, fanny, fanny? Uh, f- fanaticy. That's that inappropriate whatever. in some yeah. English language. <laughs> anyway. Um, what convinced me? Well, everyone was talking about it. That's one. Um, second, it looked very interesting. Like the premise of whole North Korea and South Korea. Yeah. And the fact that it was so big on Netflix. Yeah. Parang drew me in. It wasn't because I was attracted to like a storyline or the superstars of the show. It was really just a mix of things. That got me curious. And I didn't even think that I was gonna get hooked. Yeah. Oh, the other thing pala is some of our, our closest friends really got into it. And I trust these friends. I love their taste. And so when they got on it, I was like, ah, okay, siguro worth naman. Worth seeing this. I, I sounded like a snob. But yeah. I mean, I'm like that with pop culture. That's true. And it's not a statement of the personhood. Yes. Of other people, but it's just I don't need to watch what you watch. I don't mm-hmm, need to mm-hmm, ingest mm-hmm, what you mm-hmm. ingest just because you like it. So anyway, um, because they liked it, I got into it. So what got you hooked? When did you know that? Oh gosh, that's a posing koto. Because uh, you know we started watching it, and um, it took us what one week, two weeks to finish the first episode. Oh, uh-uh. because we kept falling asleep. It was to, moving so slowly. To be slowly. honest, the first few episodes were very, very slow. I Extremely. think it started to pick up. Hala mo, siguro it's the kimchi seller. Ooh. It's, it's really offering you 
like a different uh, something you've never known before you've, you've the you're whole north not, korean side of things yes i mean that one i've done some a little bit of research they, they hit about 60 percent yata of accuracy when it comes to depicting north korea what you, you know some respect you are you get into it because of that yeah that also kind of helped me to overlook the very obvious loopholes because this is, after all, K-drama, which is the counterpart for Filipino soap, soap opera. Mga teleserye, diba? Yung mga teleserye kasi natin, yun yung mga parang nawawalang diary. It's like right in front of them, but they still can't see it. Why is it that? Diba? <laughs> but no, so, they'll find it at the most emotionally the most, appropriate yes. moment. Yeah. So, that, I mean, like, that I was able to forgive. And maybe that has a lot to do with my background as... um. A former actress yeah, yeah. in the Philippines. So, parang naintindihan ko na, alam mo, yung mga ganito, like, they're like cats. They have like nine lives. They don't ever die. Be does in soap operas, they don't ever die. But then somebody has to eventually die. And then they'll pick somebody from the cast that they're gonna kill because that's gonna make it more lifelike. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we can't right. say it now because the other people watching might not have seen it yet. Mm-hmm. I remember watching it and thinking, uh, Pagbibigyan ko to, uh, for those common friends and because you wanted to watch it. And I, oh, I like anything we can watch together. I was making fun of every, every like long lingering stare. Every time that song would come in and yun yun na papogi, paganda, pa effect shot na naman siya. And I would just laugh, you know, at those points. But I was honestly interested at the whole North Korean segment uh, to see... Wow, how different would the society be played? And I think I started getting hooked around that time of the kimchi seller also because it was so different and I felt like the show was brave enough to take turns. Like, it, I couldn't... I didn't know where it was going. Um, I've seen so many movies and TV series where I'm like, okay, this is gonna happen, that's gonna happen. Uh, I might as well just enjoy it. If I don't enjoy the process, I'm gonna turn off. Mm-hmm. Right? But this one, I couldn't even predict. I, I had no clue where it was going. Mm-hmm. And so that's what... Got me hooked. I also got hooked because of the Bida. So, Yoon Bin and Sonya Jin. Are those your um, favorite characters? Yeah. I mean, I have to be honest. I got bored with the other characters after a while. What? I just wanted to see... <sighs> no! The general who's always in slippers <laughs> is the most crucial... Yes. Just kidding. No. The crying rat. The uh, crying... <laughs> no, 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 sorry. They're, okay, okay, the two top most um, para, most interesting characters for me were, of course, uh, Seri, Yoon Seri, and Captain Ri. Yeah. And then after that, it's the four... Uh, four ba? Oh, five. four guys. F- five? Mm-hmm. Five ba? Including the crying rat. Ah, uh, no, okay. I wasn't including him. But, <gasps> I mean, like, the four <laughs> soldiers that are under yeah, Captain yeah, Ray. Yeah, yeah. They're the um, best. They're the best, honestly. Yeah, and, you know, I think it's after a while, kasi, it's when you are left to draw the parallels in the entire story. Yun siguro yung nagpahok sa akin, okay? For, for those who are listening and watching and you don't know my background, in college, what I took up is literary... What we do is literary criticism, but literature in english so what we do is we dissect text so text yeah. could be anything these 16 and, episodes for a text and for me um i really love the parallels that i could find para silang mga hidden mickeys for me yeah yeah so let's say the four soldiers sila captain pio best character that's captain, my favorite captain. character Sorry, whatever, yeah. whatever whatever you know I'm, i don't i don't even memorize what, what their names are but the four guys in North Korea, who were, well, eventually, no, in the story, who spoiler were like, alert. spoiler alert, yeah, who eventually became like her brothers in North Korea. And then just the parallel of her brothers from South Korea, who are really her brothers, half, but they're really her brothers, who actually wanted to kill her. Yeah, yeah. Wanted to leave her for dead. And then yung brothers naman na nahanap niya in North Korea, which are supposedly the ones who are supposed to kill kill her, are trying to preserve her life. Yep, yep. So parang when you find things like that in the story, dun ka na ho hook eh. And yeah, you're yeah. And dear ka dun sa mga characters in yeah. the entire soap opera. Super agree. And even like 
gossip in North Korea, gossip in South Korea, power plays in North Korea. Right. The, the privileged and elite who are safeguarding their power in North Korea. It's the same in South Korea. They just mm-hmm. have different tools. And it's their just, yeah, I know, objectives I've... would even meet mm-hmm. at a certain point na mm-hmm. sila na on their stated philosophy, magkaiba sila, but really we're about protecting our power, so let's work together. Right. They're about to make sure that those people don't... So, but, but, I super agree because once capitalism, once socialism, and then, <laughs> akala mo, oops. I keep thinking of Captain Pio. Captain Pio. Pio's the best. I know. Okay, uh, he's and he hilarious. Can sing. Yeah, you told me he can that. Sing. So there's I saw. a YouTube video of him singing. Yeah, in a variety show or something. So, uh, ako tawang tawa ako sa conviction niya lagi. I'm correct. My country is superior. That woman is evil. She's corrupting us. How dare you insinuate we don't have cell phones? One of us has a cell phone. <laughs> you know? Sure, na sure lang. Siya. Yeah. These capitalists must be doing their best to impress us. So I, I just love his character. Okay, so Carlos done a lot. Well, he did he a lot of research. It's just like <laughs> all of a sudden, all of these Korean things pop up on my. So, so she wanted to know. She wanted to know: Are they a couple in real life? Okay, so yon. Uh, are they dating in real life? Because I do hope that they are. Parang they they look so bagay with each other, <laughs> like their physique, and then I don't know. Okay, I'm just really stuck with that whole series. And, and are they? I think they are. They're just not admitting. Okay. Ooh. So much like... So it seems um, like they are. Yeah. Like Filipino movie stars also trying to deny that they're dating. Okay. <laughs> real talk. Anything goes. Mm. How true are love teams in real life? How many are really in love and really gonna... You know, they, they would be in the a relationship. The thing is, I think 90% would have something. There's really something there. There's no. They would start out nothing. Then it would turn out to be something just because of the frequency of of being together, the intimacy of your like shoots and all that. You may iwasan. You'll just it fall just in blurs love. Together. Yeah, and I mean like hello, every time that you have to deliver lines that are, you know, falling in love with each other and all that. But I'm feeling ko, how how are you gonna stop yourself from even like a little teeny tiny bit of falling in love with the other person or the person right in okay, front of you? Okay. So something really happens. But then like all other relationships, I feel like it ends at some point. And that's when it gets tricky because they fall in love with other people. and then But they're stuck with the love team and all got that. It, got so it, got it. So it can And I, I don't know kasi if there's any love team that's going to succeed in being a real couple. Like really all the way being a couple. Why? Because... It's just too much pressure, I feel. Right, right. Like, so, you can't really tell anymore what's real and what's not. So, what you're saying is the question of whether or not something is really there doesn't get to the heart of the matter or the truth because, yeah, there's something there. Yeah. Eh? Oh, They're doing stuff oh, together. Oh, They're oh, always together. Oh. There must be at least something there. Mm-hmm. But the real question is, would it stand the test of would time? Would they stay together? Yeah. Yeah. Well. What did it make you reconsider about your skincare? Don't know, cause well, okay, hindi nga reconsider eh. It made me think I really need to do pala my skincare. <laughs> to because start caring for your skin. I don't have rituals like I guess most women my age or even younger than me. Like, like anti-aging, oh, oh, moisturizing. Yeah, <laughs> masyado <maga. laughs> Alam ko yun. <laughs> um, I mean, I would get again. No, I would get into something, but it wouldn't last. But then watching me also this. <laughs> but watching this and then looking at Koreans and how they're obsessive about their skin gear. May reason, huh? I mean, like, my my reason for you to follow them. Because they really have... They actually glow on screen. And I like it that they, they obsess about skin care. Because it's not like they're saying na, Wala, ganito lang kami. Maganda lang kami. We don't do anything. And we just glow. No, they tell you. They tell you. We, this is what I bought. Yeah, to glow. this is what I bought, and this is what I. Whatever. And some of them oh. even go as far as cosmetic surgery. But if for me, oh, okay, if there's there's a way to make your skin glow more, why not? Second reference, we said it helped Philip's reading. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it didn't really help. It's just. It just gave him practice. It's just funny that because it's subtitled, de right? So we had to read subtitles all the way. And it Philip was started so watching with funny us. That he would start watching and then reading and following and along. 
following along. He actually he he, he is actually humming the humming theme song. The theme song. <laughs> Third thing, scented candles. I fancy scented candles, but I, it was never this significant to me. <laughs> no, I, it's just a... So the next time we go hiking, I'm joke. supposed to have a scented candle in yes, my back. Yes, in case I get lost or anything. Anyway, okay. <laughs> okay, so what we're talking we're, oh, we're take talking about... Takeaways, themes from the, uh, no, from the show. You know, um, Captain Rhee and Seri are both symbolic of like South Korea and North Korea. Mm -hmm. And how the reunification is this ideal that they're both looking forward yes, to. Yes, yes. And I feel like by having... Okay, I'm gonna do spoiler alert if I say how, how it ends. Yeah. How it ends is probably projecting the heart of, I don't know, the director or the network or even maybe the people. I'm yeah. not sure because I'm not Korean. So this is why I want to research it on it some more. Because yeah. I want to know like how... How do people how, view this concept of reunification? Yes, and what how how the entire drama turned out to be? A desire that reflected, was, projected uh, on the on the uh, drama, uh, or was it just you know um, just the director's? Was it more uh, subverted desire? Na parang whoa, why did you do that? Right. With this thing? Okay. Uh -oh. So, me, I kinda. Okay, Philip, I can help you after this. We're almost done. Mm -hmm. So, that one is very fascinating to me. That. They would. Um, it's. It's not just two people falling in love. Yeah. It's actually a divided country. Like, me, my takeaway is I kind. I'm really interested now in K drama storytelling techniques. Oh yeah. Me because too. they were. It was a lot of foresight and planning. I mean, they had references in episode one that paid off like five, six, seven episodes later. And all the way till the end. And so, like, remember when I was mocking this whole Switzerland thing? Like, what, what is what is Switzerland? I mean, what is that? Just some random mm. thing. Uh, uh, no offense, no offense, since we're straight talking here. Sometimes you'll see locations in Europe and Filipino stuff that really have no bearing on the plot. So when I first saw Switzerland mentioned, I thought, okay, what is this? I feel like it was that naman then. But the payoffs. I mean, sure, you could say that. But please, the excellence in paying it off. Switzerland, yeah. Not Switzerland. Switzerland. <laughs> he thought it was like a land of sweets. Piano, yung boat, yung bridge, kahit yung paragliding, which was the inciting incident of the whole thing. All of it had, had these connections that were tied in. And so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm fascinated by the storytelling of this thing. Yeah. So, wow. Congratulations, sweetheart. Your first K-drama, uh, my first telenovela. It actually convinced me to also, you know, like, get into more of the Korean pop culture. Ang dami nilang tinamaan na parang would make you think, is this a real social, whatever, like, yeah. heartache of Korea? The singing orphans in the market. Yeah. I want to know more about that. So, may mga ganon. And, like, if you notice that most of the scenes in North Korea are very idyllic in nature, romanticized yung lugar. Yeah, like a simple village. Simple village. Oh. And then there's a lot of nature. And kids coming home from school. Yeah, and on the other hand, you've got South Korea that's very fast-paced. Urban. Cosmopolitan, urban, ganon. So, parang ganun yung depiction nila. Then I was, when I was watching the defectors um, talking about North Korea, they, they were asked, what is the difference now from, you know, living in North Korea and living in the South? And then both of them said they had differences in answers kasi and some of the questions. But in this one, like when it comes to the people and when it comes to the pace of life, what they do miss about North Korea is that people in North Korea, even if they actually have a hard life, they have a poor life, can afford to be happy and stress-free. Both defectors said that. Yeah. So in Somehow, comparing the two societies, right? Uh -oh. Parang, North Koreans are happier. Yeah. Yes, just because they feel like the stress of life in South Korea makes South the Koreans people of South Korea more stressed. more stressed. And 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 according to, I don't know if it was the same video that I've seen, but the suicide rate is very, very high. One, I think it's number one. That's what it says on the video. Of course, I don't know if that's accurate, but it's like number one Dao in the world. No wonder that there is, spoiler alert, if you are just on the first episode, 
stop right here, but there are suicidal tones, even in crash landing on you. That's true. Wow, oh no, no. So yun mm. yung mga things eh, orphans, um, suicidal tones, See, that, overtones. That's intelligent writing. Wow, I feel like um, being a pastor. This is a great intro to a message on performance, space of life. You know, one one thing that I I really really liked about crash landing on you and i'm not sure if if it's like this talaga in a lot of gay dramas because i've only seen one but both characters were strong yeah. hindi yung babae hindi damsel in distress hindi siya yung parang weak na i need to be safe although that was an, a recurring theme of saving each other's lives yeah yeah they weren't really helpless and they were actually that's what makes it hard. Agents. Trenching. They were all agents. They were they were making sacrifices. They yeah. were dying to themselves so many times just so the other can live. Nowadays in Western media, there seems to be this weird culture war of boys versus girls. Mm-hmm. And uh, in order to make women strong, men have to be incompetent and they have to be stupid mm-hmm. in the depiction. Or in order to make men strong, women have to be helpless. Mm-hmm. And I love that in Crash Landing on You, that wasn't the choice. Uh, Sari is extremely competent. Mm-hmm. She's she's fit. Like, when she starts running, that was my first comment. I thought, what, this woman is a track star. Yeah. She's an amazing leader. She's an amazing business owner. In fact, uh, the whole tension with her family isn't that she's the favorite. It's just she's the she's, best. Yeah. She's just the like, best. She's you know? obviously the best. And then the man is no push over the man. He's not dumbed down to make her great. Her talents stand on their own. They stand for themselves. And his stand for themselves. And they give to each other and strengthen each other. Maybe now, no, I think this is why we like it. It's because it reflects so much of who you are and me also and how we are as a couple. Because I'm not okay. exactly a damsel in you, distress kind of. What did you like? How did you identify with Yun Seri? Oh. When she said that if you have to go, just go. Yeah. And yeah. um, she was thinking of herself and everything else that it's that's that's involved. You know that's so you because um, thinking of everybody else, focused on the objective, and if anyone's gonna pay the price, ikaw na lang. Ah, oh, I'll just take the. I the, know that I want this, but it's not working out. Let I'll me take pay the. the hit. Pr- yeah. Ah, yeah. That's so, so Carla. That's so me and. I right. I could feel the heartbreak because I I'm like that. Every time I have to let something go, but I would don't. say. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. What do you mean I don't? I mean that, that's the point, de ba? Parang <coughs> you feel like you have to let it go. You feel like this is something I shouldn't fight for. I should take the hit, but sometimes you should fight for it, and sometimes there's no need to take the hit. And that's what you know. The the drama reveals that there's a tension. The drama reveals as well. So yeah. I totally felt you also mm-hmm. in that part. Every time she would do that, I'm mm-hmm, like, oh gosh, the wonder kind of likes this. And I also totally felt you at times with Captain Ree's lines. <laughs> Especially when <laughs> she goes... So well, but basically, she, we don't want to spoil it, but she put herself in danger again. And Captain Ree, out of concern for her, says, what are you doing? Think about your health. Can't you take better care of yourself? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. No. Coming from anxiety. It's yeah. anxiety of me not being able to take care of myself. Just just don't don't hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Captain Ri. The other thing. Uh, this the is other Captain thing. <laughs> Ri Jo Hyo. The other thing that I found uh that I laughed at was so episode one palang. When he was so sure and he was like, don't run there. That's a minefield. I'm an expert in this area. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever, anyway, you have to watch it. But just the, the so sure that I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I never mm-hmm. get sick. There's never anything wrong with me. And then he, something bad will happen. I, I kept laughing at that part. And you weren't laughing as much. And I thought, really, I think I'm laughing because, because I do that. So great series, honestly. The fact great, that yeah. we can identify <laughs> she's not a South Korean business tycoon. I am not a North Korean captain. And I think Siguro, just to sum it up, no. I think we're talking about two people falling in love. A she has truck. to crash 
And it has to be tragic for the two of them to actually stop controlling their lives. <laughs> yeah, because you're so in control. Eh. Ang galing nilang dalawa eh. true, in their respective true. whatever. Whatever they do, they're they're great at it. And they're kind of robotic. And then they have she has to crash land. Yeah. And to be completely of no power whatsoever in this land to actually find people who would tell her your life's worth something yeah. to me. And, and and it's an extremely vulnerable position. Mm -hmm. And then to find another person, because it okay, fine, you're vulnerable like that. But to have another person make themselves equally vulnerable, mm -hmm. so that you can find each other, right? And the theme of like an external force, because they kept saying destiny, destiny, mm -hmm. doing that, and maybe that's why we identified also. Mm -hmm. You know, like even how you and I uh, we, uh, we ended up together. We will never be able to come up with our kind of love story. <laughs> Yeah. It just has to be something bigger than us for us to end up together. Yeah. Anyway, that's for another vlog. I mean, sorry, another podcast. Vlog mm. podcast. Okay, question and answer time. And we've got a couple here that asked us, how did you both meet? Well, her being a celebrity, I knew who she was. Um, and she had no idea I was alive. So it was at a church service. Where we invited uh, uh, one of our celebrity friends to share his testimony, Piolo mm -hmm. Pascual. And then he. In Ortigas. He invited me. Yeah. And then that's when. So after he shared his testimony, uh, I shared the altar call uh, and she raised her hand uh, to accept Jesus. But we didn't speak that day. So that's the first time that. Um, he saw me. I, I saw her live. Him. And she didn't see me because she was seeing Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I saw him. When did you Jesus. know about me? I don't know. I honestly can't remember. Ah, no, no. I don't know. Sorry. I don't even know if I knew about you na. But I do remember that one of my first few memories of you is that you were playing... Is that PlayStation? PSP. PSP? Oh, a PS PSP. And uh, the awards. The, what, do you, what do you call that? The Manila pen. Yeah, yeah. And then it was a church thing. But we were friends already by then. Yeah, I kind of don't remember when I met you. but Because you do, added me on Multiply. But so I do remember. Or you commented on my blog on Multiply. I probably saw you preaching. That was. But so I, I do remember na yung first impression ko of you was this guy is so good at preaching. And he's so good at the word of god without sounding so preachy at all like because i didn't like very religious sounding people no yeah so and then we so like i saw her we didn't speak she saw me from a distance and we didn't speak and then we really started talking online right uh, multiply was the social network in those days it wasn't even called social networking i don't think and um it was a very small community so, madali tayo nagkatagpuan. And then, um, there, we started talking. Mm -hmm. and, and found common interests. So, yeah. is that it? That's it. <laughs> okay, again, thanks for being with us. And here's Philip. I gotta go now. I gotta feed my other boy. Wait. But thank thanks. you for listening. This is our second episode. If you right. wanna uh, drop a line, um, uh, you I'm can right email off. us. Wait, Philip. You can email us at Joe and Carla Podcast at gmail.com. J O E A N D C A R L A. So the Carla is with the C. Podcast at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, guys.